Well, Einstein had a dream of finding a unified theory. He was, in some sense, the first person to fully articulate that as a goal. Maxwell, of course, put together electricity and magnetism into electromagnetic theory. So that was a unification. That was a step toward a unified theory. Before that, Newton really put together the laws of the terrestrial and the extraterrestrial, the laws of Earth-bound objects he showed were the same forces at work that kept the moon in orbit around the Earth. That wasn't obvious at the time, so he put together those two realms. That was unification. Einstein made great strides, but he didn't know about things like the strong and weak nuclear forces. He didn't really warm to the idea of quantum mechanics, even though his own work really launched the whole quantum revolution. So I think Steven Weinberg perhaps said it best. He viewed it that Einstein was trying to use methods that he had found so successful when he was a young man, using the laws of geometry, the rules of geometry to describe the universe. And in Weinberg's assessment, when Einstein tried to then continue to follow that same pattern, it was like trying to use soldiers on horse cavalry to go against the barbed wire and machine guns of the newer methods of warfare. And against those newer methods of warfare, Einstein's approach just couldn't work. So Einstein made great strides, but he didn't know enough about the fundamental workings at the microscopic level to go the next step and find the unified theory.